Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is what I eat in a day on a calorie deficit to lose weight of 1,500 calories. When filming this is a Saturday, so we do have a fake away this evening and some lovely, delicious food still on plan. So if that sounds good for you, to you, let's get straight into it. This morning's breakfast, which is 279 calories, and I think it was 19.4 grams of protein. Um, I wanted something filling this morning because quite a busy day ahead. So what I've done, I'll just let you know a couple of tweaks I made to make it a little less lower in calories and a little bit more higher in protein. So by swapping your normal white bread, um, try using a seeded bread. These are a lot higher in fiber and protein, which will keep you full up for longer. And I just absolutely love seeded bread. For, so for me, this is a non-brainer. Swapping your traditional margarine butter whatever it is to a lighter soft cheese you will not believe the difference in calories for this so and i really really like the, the taste of it because i like butter but i don't really like the taste of margarine um but obviously butter can be quite high in calories so this is a great swap you can even get the lighter lighter one um but we've just got the light one for now um so yeah so that's this morning's breakfast So it's time for lunch. I've half got ready. This is why I'm looking like this because I curled my hair and then clipped it back. Um, yes, why I'm doing lunch. The reason I'm only ready, starting to get ready now, is because I've been doing a lot of work this morning. Um, yeah, so that, that's what I've been doing. So anyway, we are having this soup. So this is the Convent Garden tomato and basil soup. So for half of this is 101 calories. Um, ooh. Let's do it so I don't actually spin, spill it out. Is that a bit better? You can see it there, can't you? Yeah, so that's what we've got. Now that would not fill me up on its own. Of course, 100 calories is not gonna fill me. So with it, I have got a bagel, and the bagel of choice, again, is my New York style bagel, um, cream cheese, and ham. I'll pop the calories all on the screen and the protein because I've left my phone upstairs. And um, the boys have had some sandwiches. I shared my soup with Harper, so she's got half of that. This is today's lunch. I would usually just think, oh, I'll have the soup because it's lower in calories, but I know that will not keep me full. Um, midday snack, I did have some fruit and I had um, some skier yogurt as well, which is a higher in protein kind of yogurt. So I knew that would keep me going until lunchtime because I do kind of like a mid morning sort of 11s is snack. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for lunch now. So this is what we've got for lunch today. Right, we're finally getting ready for the day, which seems really, really late. But like I said, been super, super busy this morning um so how has this week gone so far so i usually do a separate video on a sunday with a little bit of a weigh or weigh in catch up but this week hasn't been the most successful week when it comes to weight loss um reason being i do actually have an excuse i know i know it's probably not an excuse but but we're gonna go with it so um I, which I never really talk about on my channel because I know if I mention it, people will then be like, oh, you shouldn't be on a weight loss journey if you're doing that. But it's never ever affected. Anyway, let, let's just get into it. So I've recently started sort of weaning off the breastfeeding, um, which I've been doing for a while because obviously Harper is 16 months. So she does have solid foods and she has been since six months of hoping that by herself she would gradually want to come off but she isn't doing that so I've kind of got to um gradually do that myself um by just kind of saying no so anyway weight, weight loss so um that has meant that I haven't had 
a period i know it's a bit too much information if you're not if you get a bit squeamish or anything like that then probably skip ahead to the next sort of food part so yeah i haven't had a period for about two years which is extremely normal if you're breastfeeding you can get them back straight away or it can be a few years it can vary depending on your body um because when you breastfeed you release um a hormone which is the same sort of hormone that helps you go into labor and it stops your it can stop your periods as well i'm oh, sorry from ovulating i don't know i don't know what it how it works but anyway so for the first time in over two years i had my first period and the doctor did say to me when you have your first like couple they will be horrendous the pain will be bad and it you know in general it will be really uncomfortable say so that some people end up coming to the doctors because they can't deal with how long it's lasting so he did say that you know that is an option so anyway that has appeared and it is exactly how the doctor said it is absolutely horrendous so i have been extremely hormonal it is like two years worth has just appeared so i have been extremely hormonal i have just craved sweet things um the other day i was eating ice cream at 9 a.m and that just is crazy and you know i like sweet stuff and that's really not like me though um so i have been trying my best on days where i feel like i can but then some days i have just been like like it's not happening and that's how it's been this week and that's one of the reasons why i've not weighed this week because one because i haven't been 100 on plan and two because i know my body will it will weigh more anyway because i'm you know because of the hormones and things like that so that's why i haven't weighed this week um so i am getting back 100 percent on plan today because um you know i don't know how long this is going to last for but i feel like because we've kind of got through the worst part of it i now need to make sure that i'm back on plan henry is also pretending he's filming behind me so you can hear someone literally repeating everything i'm saying that's who it is be a weighing update next week as normal but this week we've kind of just been trying to get through the week yesterday which was friday i did do the food shop and i went and picked it up which we always usually have it on a saturday but i knew that if i didn't get the food shop in ready for saturday morning i wouldn't have been on plan and um, so i wanted to start fresh on saturday morning and um, so that's why i made sure i picked it up yesterday even though i had to go pick it up with the kids so that was a bit of you know that was a handful so yeah that's how we're feeling so i i haven't done great this week but you know it is something which hasn't happened in two years and it has affected me just put the nachos in i haven't calculated all the calories yet but i have wrote all the measurements down so i'm going to pop that in and then when it's done i'll pop on the screen what calories it is um having myself a tight lemonade instead of having a prosecco not quite the same but still refreshing and delicious me and henry have just made some homemade guacamole which we've got here which again pop all the calories um for the portions for that i've just used um avocado some fresh lemon juice and some avocado topping from just spices i think i still have a discount code and i think when you purchase using my discount code you get a free spice so if that still works i'll pop it in the description because i, I do have a various different 
um styles of spices from them and i do use them quite often um yeah so that's ready my portion dance portion has gone in i've done them separately just so i can track the calories a bit easier the kids are having spaghetti so i'm just making that now because they don't like um nachos um i put some extra cheese on down like some normal cheese i use the cheese slices just because they make like that gooey delicious cheese and if you just use just normal cheese it's, it's not quite the same um so so once it is all cooked and ready to go i'm so excited this is one of my favorite sort of fake ways and i realized that my last what i eat in a day i had a fake way as well because it was new year's eve but today's a saturday and instead of having like a takeaway i can still have something which is on plan and yeah it's it's just so exciting and um, so i will show you when it's done right so this is mine so i ended up just putting 10 grams of cheese on the top because yeah it looks a bit bare without it so it is the next day and i didn't finish filming last night um i only had a hot chocolate to finish the evening so that was an extra 100 calories and i just wanted to confirm that last night's dinner was delicious it was like do you know when you go to a restaurant and you have like loaded nachos and things like that honestly it is just as good and still on plan so we're going to go through the calories what we ended with um so yes let's get into that so today was more because it was a saturday when i was filming it it was more of an indulgent day i didn't want to spend a lot of time cooking we wanted a bit of a fake away so i haven't hit my protein goals um but so the protein we ended on 87.1 grams of protein which is still okay but i like to try and hit 100 grams um calories 1579 which isn't bad saying i had those nachos because those nachos were 784 calories and that's why i tried to keep it a bit lower for the rest of the day um and then i just had whatever i didn't show you was my hot chocolate which was 100 calories and then i didn't count for my milk throughout the day so i've added 125 milliliters of skim milk which is 43 calories um so yeah a really good day on plan um next week when filming it will be more like healthier um lunches and teas and things like that because it will be the week in the week but at the weekend i like to have a little bit of a treat um so that's how that's how the day went i have really enjoyed today's food if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one take care everybody bye bye